so in the previous lecture we have done the meshing of this part now you can see the mid meshing is completed so i will click on the turn from here and click on this solid mesh shaded mesh now we are going to check the mesh quality and we will see how is the mesh flow so zoom in here and you will see okay here you can see the mesh flow is very very good but here you can see in the complex part here you will see in these fillets the mesh flow is not a good mesh flow so what i do i will now you can see it has created two new collectors first isolate only the first one here it will show only the free edges so we don't need them i will right click and delete this and i will turn on this mid mesh so here you can see the mid mesh so mid mesh basically creates a basic idea of the meshing so here if i zoom in here you can see in the complex parts uh, where there is a complexity if i turn on this cad here you can see the mesh flow is not proper so that is why the mid mesh option is not always useful so once we completed the mesh using the mid mesh option now we need to modify or we can say we need to update this mesh updating means we need to remove this back to back triads opposite triads here you can see the mesh flow is not good you can see there are some very small element distorted elements so we need to remove them so to do this we need to select any phase one by one and redo the element quality so what i do i will go to f10 here to check the element quality so here you will see go to 2d first of all let me check the warp page so maximum warp page is 29 so our criteria is 25 click on warp page you can see 25 elements are filling which is really good mesh okay so aspect here you can see aspect in some element is 577 element so maximum aspect is 1131 it means some elements are highly distorted similarly in case of skew so skew generally we can take up to 60 or we can take 70 you can see these elements are failing in the skewness and similarly if i check the smallest length you can see smallest length is 00 means the elements are very very small okay we also have to check them similarly the largest length is 19 which is not good we can take up to 13 14 here now let's check the angles see minimum angle is 0 it means the element is completely distorted similarly quad element okay so here if i hide the geometry and give it some better color to this okay when i click on this warp page you can see these elements are highlighting similarly for the aspect so i want to check here is the element length you can see if i zoom in these elements are failing in the element length okay so that is why the mid mesh option is not always useful you can see the mesh quality and mesh flow is not good okay but it gives us a basic idea now what we can do is we can once again repair this mesh so i will turn on this cad here okay i will turn on this wireframe geometry so what i do i will try to do the remesh and improve the mesh quality for example return go to auto mesh and here click on element okay so now let's say i want to check the now i want to improve the element quality here to do this you can see i can press f3 and go to mid i can replace them replace them now you can see now elements are much better similarly i can also replace them and i can change the length here so go to f4 and uh, here first second node this is 16 let's say i will make it 15 let's say i will make it 14 now you can see element is straight similarly i will have to straight this click on reset some click on this first node second node let's say i will make it 12 let's say 11 now you can see the element is much straight similar thing you can also do for the other element as well click on reset and change the element length let's say this is 11 okay 
now i can do the remesh here before doing the remesh i will do what i can do is okay just do the remesh select this complete face like this and i don't want to select this element and remesh okay once again i'm going to remesh this smaller region like this okay so now just pick up this element area and remesh it here we need to improve the mesh flow so we need to remesh it once again and again so that we get a proper element quality so here okay now it is much better than the previous so to remove this trias what we can do is let's say i will make it two here here make it two and now we can remove the trial so also we can press f3 here press f3 select this node and click on yes okay so now once again i will do the remesh let's say up to this element so you can see here this trial is coming we can cancel these two trials so to cancel them just select all the element here like this okay now i will decrease this feature angles and okay once again we need to decrease them let's say this is 2 this is 2 and again now make it 6 here okay make it 7 here click on it and you can see this trial has moved upward now i can make it 35 let's make it 35 once again and do the remesh here so like unselect this element you can see these two trial has cancelled each other so again in this way you need to apply multiple methods so you can see we can cancel out these trials with each other okay so now you can see the mesh flow has increased as compared to the previous previous mesh similarly i will do the remesh again and here i will reduce the element length let's say this will be 12 so you can see how the mesh flow has improved as compared to the previous mesh similarly you can see these two trias are going opposite so we can cancel them so let's say this angle is 2 once again this angle is 2 and select all these mesh here one by one and one by one okay make it one make it one okay so now i can increase this angle let's say 35 35 now if i do the remesh here you can see this trial will cancel each other okay so we can again in decrease the length here press f4 let's say this is 15 and again this is let's say 15 now i can change the length from here let's say this is 14 so you can see we have cancelled out the trias now i can again you can see we can remesh this to improve the mesh flow so this is one of the way to improve the mesh quality we need to remesh it again and again and it will take lots of time to do the remeshing okay so in the next lecture we will learn how to do the meshing manually so now let's go to some complicated region here you can see these regions are some very complicated because you can see if i turn on the cad here you can see turn off the mesh in these regions the complexity is very high you can see in some part material is removed and you will see some change in the geometry so i will turn on the mesh so in this case let's say i want to improve the mesh here so first what i have to do is let's say i want to improve the mesh here so to do this i will go to wireframe now you can see very smaller element so press f3 
just equivalence them one by one here let's say equivalence it okay again equivalence it and you can see these are by smaller element equivalence it similarly here equivalence them similarly and again so that we can remove all these extra type of smaller element similarly here equivalence them and these element and similarly here so you can see some elements are highly distorted so here you will see we don't need this element so i will go to f2 and here go to element in the filter select these element right now we don't need these element because they are not needed so press f3 once again and select these elements select similarly here now uncheck on this because it will remove the element from the surface so now we have removed the extra element also here okay here i will do the remesh so now i can do the remesh here to improve the element quality also i will take these element and do the remesh similarly here okay just change the number of element let's say two here okay not here i will change the number element here let's say i will make it three okay so now you can see if i select this complete element here let's say i will say this element and make it two here and now i can make a remesh here so select this element and make it three okay not here similarly now you can see we have improved some mesh quality here we can also take out this tria in outside okay so again we can make it two here in this way you have to do the remeshing again and again so now i will so now i'm going to save this file as bumper 2 so we will also learn how to do the manual meshing of this complete part now once the meshing is done in this types of part we need to also apply a thickness to all the elements so we are going to learn that in the next lecture